Disney really needs to learn, and I know this might be a bit of an odd analogy, but they really need to learn that resurrecting a corpse from the dead is is not going to be pretty. Uh, anyway, guys, let's get into it. Yo, what is going on, everybody? Welcome to another episode here on Ord's World. I am Ord's, and today we are taking a look at an article from comicbook.com. X-Men, the animated series revival officially announced for Disney+. Plus. Now, some of you are probably very excited about this, and I, I can understand why, because on the surface, this looks like it might be a good thing, something that we remember from our past. You know, we talk a lot about Saturday morning cartoons. This is one of the shows that we're currently doing a watch party for on our Saturday morning cartoons streams, uh, which we got to find another way to do that. Anyway, that's besides the point. But before we get into the article, if you guys could do me a favor and hit that red subscribe button down below, we're on the way to a thousand subscribers and it would greatly help if you guys did. It's free to do, helps a lot. Uh, and uh, yeah, guys, anyway, let's get into the article because there's a lot to talk about. Fans of the original X-Men, the animated series have always treated as the gold standard for Marvel cartoons. And I, I agree. Uh, when it comes to Marvel cartoons, these are some of the best representations, I think, of the comic books. Um, I don't really think... Th these are probably, th like this and the Spider-Man series, are probably the series that can really kind of hold a candle to the DC stuff, what they do normally with the DC animated stuff. Now, I know in recent years, the animated stuff has kind of suffered a little bit on DC side of things, but I still think... Uh, DC does a better job with their animated, uh, you know, just a personal opinion. Let me know in the comments down below what you prefer, the Marvel animated stuff or the DC animated stuff. As it introduced a generation of fans to Marvel's Merry Mutants, there have been rumblings of a reboot or a continuation over the years, especially after Disney regained the X-Men rights after acquiring Fox assets. So, of course, all eyes were on Disney Plus Day, which I think is like the anniversary of like Disney Plus or whatever, when, you know, just like Disney's Investor Day or whatever. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Uh, to see what new Marvel announcements were coming down the pipeline. Yeah, because everybody was like, you know, fuck Eternals. Uh, because that shit sucks. And we gotta, like, we gotta throw this out there and let them know something's kind of distracted from how bad the Eternals is. I kind of feel like this is why they dropped it when they did. Because it's, you know, it, the article goes on to say it's coming out in 2023. And uh, to me, that, you know, being in production already, it seems like it's a little far personally like when are we getting at the beginning of 2023 uh are we getting at the end of 2023 and you know and i think they're gonna they're gonna do at least the animation justice i would say akin to like the kevin smith uh he-man stuff now I, i'm not saying that shit's good because it's not but uh the animation was good i will give them that the animation was like crisp and, and clean on that and they're gonna probably do something very similar like that i think with this you know just really clean it up uh, and it'll probably look fantastic uh, but uh, we'll get into more details down the road. As the rap revealed, the official title of the new animated series is X-Men 97, which is already in production at the streaming service. Didn't they already do this in a comic book? It was like X-Men 92 or some shit like that. I, I think it was... Yeah, I think I think I've got like a few of those issues and I was just kind of like, meh with it but I, yeah it's like they're they're kind of just playing off that maybe i don't know uh could have been I, they could have tried a little harder with the name but anyway anyway uh the new x-men animated series will pick up after the original ended coincidentally in september 1997 makes sense i guess uh I, I don't know if they're gonna put in that heavy 90s nostalgia uh, I mean it would be weird I guess if they started this down you know in the future but called it 97 so I guess it'll probably pick up right where it left off although final episode featured Professor Charles Xavier gravely injured in an attack by the mutant hater Henry Peter Gyrich Xavier's only hope for survival is to take Princess Lilandra up uh, up on her offer to leave Earth and head to uh, the Shi'ar's Empire. The X-Men are joined by the, uh, their rival and, uh, and Xavier's best friend Magneto to say goodbye to their leader during his final moments on the planet. Uh, all right, so that's uh, obviously that's where they're going to pick up. I mean, I don't Here's the thing. Are we going to focus on Charles Xavier on the planets, uh, you know, or, you know, off of, uh, off of the planet or whatever, off of Earth? Uh, is that where the story is going to focus? Are the uh, X Men going there, or is uh, you know is he having to return to Earth? My guess is he's probably having to return to Earth some way. Um, but now here's where we kind of get into the thick of things here. This is where I would say, like on the surface, this seems like a great idea. 
But let's remember, a lot of time has passed since the 90s and since 97. And a lot of these people have changed their mind about a lot of things, right? They've learned some things about the world uh, they either like or don't like. So uh, let's not get too excited, guys, just because we, you know, you know, shit, we're, uh, wave some shiny shit in front of you. Let's not get all excited about it because, again, these people, you know, they're different people from when they were back in 97. So the article goes on to talk about uh, some of the original cast returning, uh, including uh, Cal Dodd, uh, Lenore Zahn, uh, George Buza. Uh, anyway, uh, so a lot of the original cast is returning. We're going to have some new cast as well. But one person I want to take a look at in particular before we uh, go over here to Twitter real quick is this guy, uh, Jake here. Now, uh, let's head over here. A good old data racer. If you guys do not follow data racer on Twitter, go check him out. Um, all of it's right here. Uh, so it starts off here. Uh, this team is cooking up some dope shit. Grateful to be a part of it. See you in 2023. Swipe if you're nasty. I don't even know what that means, but uh, okay. So that's where it starts off. Uh, and then here we have a whole bunch of, uh, you know, uh, let me tell you how I feel about politics sort of stuff. Now, as a person, uh, if I owned a business uh, and I had an employee who was out there, you know, uh, on, on the front lines, basically, you know, was kind of like his job was to direct, produce, you know, be a huge part of it. Your name's attached to this. And what happens uh, is these people begin to share their political opinions and views on social media. And uh, yeah, it kind of ruins it for a lot of people. Uh, me as a person, I don't give a shit about your politics. Write a good story. That's what I care about is a good story. Uh, you know, and feel free to share your opinion online. But then when that reflects your bottom dollar, when that reflects the, uh, you know, the the money coming in, then, you know, in my opinion, as a business owner, I, I would not agree with the uh, this. You know, think what you want. You don't have to like who you, you know, don't like. That's fine. I'm not saying you don't have the right to do that. But when you're posting this stuff out there and your face is attached uh, to like a, a property that's going to be coming out, it doesn't look good for you. And a lot of the people, and, and maybe I'm wrong, but I believe a lot of the people, the silent middle, uh, are the people who hate this shit, don't care about this shit, don't want to see politics invading on their, uh, you know, uh, IPs. Now, a lot of people say, well, there's politics in X, man. Uh, yeah, I, I, I get I get that. Politics inside the story that drive the story, not politics for the sake of, you know, politics or uh, virtue signaling. Uh, have it in there to further the story, not to push or promote your IP or the IP that you're creating content for. Absolutely fucking ridiculous, if you ask me. Uh, One of the producers of the X-Men, the animated series, confirms talks with Disney Plus back in 2020. Producers and directors Larry Houston discussed these talks during a virtual panel at... Di uh, all right, guys, so now back to the article. One of the producers of the X-Men, the animated series, confirmed talks with Disney Plus back in 2020. Producer and director Larry Houston discussed these talks during a virtual panel at Wizard World in August of the that year to quote we've had talks but that's about it houston said at the panel to quote again we've made conversation and it's up to them to make the decision but we've let them know that we're all available for whatever they want to do in the future Huts, uh, houston adds uh, that an x-men revival is one of the only projects he come out of retirement for the caveat of uh, to quote if we could do a special uh a, a one-off episode or a five-part episode Again, to quote, whatever they wanted to do, if we had all of the original team, he continued, that's what I would come out of retirement for. So uh, it seems like the, you know, the producer, the original producer on this just kind of wants to relive that magic as well. And again, like it, on the surface, this may look like a good idea. We've got original cast coming in, the original writers, but let's just keep in mind, people change over the years. Now, I'm going to be cautiously optimistic about this. Like I said, I think that the animation is going to be phenomenal. Um, you know, I think the voice acting is going to be great. Now, where's the story going to head? I don't care if you have politics inside your story as long as it drives the narrative of the story and it plays well with it and it's not just for virtue signaling and trying to sell tickets because uh, continue to virtue signal Disney, continue to do these things uh, and you're going to keep losing money. That's just how it is. Uh, you know, your Marvel has not had been a great place lately with Disney, uh, and Disney needs a home run when it comes to Marvel, and this could be it. 
but you got to you got to sell it as if it's a good show and not just identity politics. Anyway, guys, that's the video. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of this whole X-Men animated series. I know I'm a little late to the subject, but hey, whatever. I got to do videos when I got to do them. Um, but I thank you guys for the support anyway if you've made it this far. And if you have made it this far, guys, please make sure you hit that subscription button down below if you have not on the road again to 1,000 subscribers. Let's make it happen. Thank you so much for watching. Remember, everybody, party on.